what I came up with was a jig. It's a, uh, it's good enough. And now we're at the point of starting to construct the maze. Walls out for Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> you stole my joke again. <laughs> So this crap is something called the Yucca board. It looks like an MDF or something kind of thing. Really thin. It's a 1 8 inch. It's super thin, but I think it'll be good to uh, just cover the framing. And it's only $7 or $8 a sheet. It's uh, way cheaper than plywood. It's a 1 8 inch thick and 4 feet wide and 8 feet long. We can, we're going to make the panels the same size as this thing. Except that our panels are going to be seven feet tall to fit in the confines of the garage. When you're planning on one of these things, you have to take into account that while your garage may be a lot taller, you've got to deal with this structure here for your garage door, and that only measures uh, about seven and a half. But to make things easier, we're just going to stick with seven feet. I decided the table saw is too difficult to use for this stuff. until we actually make the damn thing. See how it is without this stuff. It might, I mean, this might be enough to sort of keep it stable. It's because the wood is a little warmed. Yeah. Probably didn't get exactly square this time or something. I guess it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. Stephanie said she'd bring her pneumatic nailer to attach these pieces.
Okay, so we just finished making 30 walls for the inside haunt in the garage. It took two days and I had uh, help from my sister Stephanie, my wife who is in the house at the moment, and my mother who's already left. But wow, it was a lot of work. But we came up with a jig to put these things on and beat them pretty quick. And then we had like an assembly line going of marking, cutting, and drilling, and whatnot. So there you go. These are a four by seven panels with covered with uh, melanin. Is that it was? Yeah, or MDF. It's MDF, really. I think one. I think it's one eighth inch stuff. It's really pretty flimsy, but once you put it on here. It's uh, it's good enough, and um, there you go. So I don't know what else to say about it. They're walls. Walls out for Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> you stole my joke again. Walls out for the H. H being Halloween. So thanks to my mom, my sister, and my wife for helping me. It was a lot Welcome. of work. It was a lot of work. So for us to churn out that many wall panels in two days. What I came up with was a jig and I took a couple of scrap pieces of the 2x3s that we were using, got them all nice and squared up, and I took a couple of clamps and clamped these down to the table here and there. And that way I could slide in the 2x3s that we were going to drill together like this and then like this and that made sure that they were perfectly square and this was obviously a little bit higher up here um, I think actually I was cutting them like this, I drilled them like this so you can imagine this goes all the way out and we just drilled in, drilled in and then screwed in, screwed in and you had a nice square joint and you could take the whole thing, flip it over do the next set and then Flip the whole thing this way, do the next set, flip it over again, and then where you had a perfectly square frame. At least that's uh, what we thought, and it worked out pretty well for the most part, but we did find that once we started attaching these panels, that the panels wouldn't line up correctly, even though everything was perfectly square, so it didn't really make much sense, but my sister came up with a good technique for us to be able to get these square, and basically she would come in and we'd staple the uh, short side of this, the four foot long side, and then we go down to the other end here without having stapled anything else. And if the frame wouldn't, wasn't matching up just right, you could take it and tap it and uh, slide it, you know, square it up until this lined up perfectly, and then staple that down, and you have a nice, uh, neat finish around the edge so that it's very uniform. For the most part it worked pretty well. And now we're at the point of starting to construct the maze. We have uh, three walls up so far. Uh, the way we're holding these together is we have these little metal brackets down here. Which you can get at Home Depot. I think they were about 58 cents each. And up at the top we're doing the same thing and then with a cross brace. And then for the panels that we're cutting in half, we're putting a piece of wood there. And eventually, when we have a, a hallway here, and there's another wall here, we'll put another cross brace from here over to connect to that wall.
It's an action shot, Steph! And that's it.